Hello everyone, this is Moot, and this is our Worm Online Worm Unlimited tutorial series. In this episode, we're going to plan and build a house. So let's jump in. First, in order to build a house, you have to have the correct number of carpentry skills. So if we go to Skill menu, you can tell that I uh, have 6.75 in carpentry skills. Now in order, uh, well, the way I did that is I just cut down trees and made a whole bunch of planks. And you need planks for walls and you need nails for walls. In order to create a plank, we're going to use the crafting table again or crafting window. We're going to put the log into one side of the window and we're also going to put the saw in the other. And this is how you make a plank. That's it. I went ahead and made 89 planks. 89 planks. Uh, that's kind of loud. Thank you. Gave gave me enough skill to um, gave me six skills in order to build a house. Now, how much skill do you need to build a house? Well, they have the algorithm that's out. It is one carpentry skill per floor tile and every wall. And there's another wiki or on the Wormpedia uh, there is a nice guide in order to access that push H which is your hotkey for it and it's just type in build a house and this is a nice guide that someone created onside the Wormpedia and this tells you the algorithm here it tells you total number of floors plus total number of wall sections equal the carpentry skill required so for us it's going to be four walls plus one floor equals five carpentry skill and I have six so it's going to be perfect. Um, it also tells you what you're going to need. You need 20 planks and one large one large nail per wall. We're not going to worry about a floor. You don't need a floor. You don't need a roof in order to finish a structure or to make a secured and put your items in. So let's plan. We're going to activate either a hammer or a mallet. We're going to right click on our flat tile. We're going to plan building. That's it. I planned a one by one building. I have four walls. I have one floor tile. Now, uh, I, if I could continue to plan, and if these were flat and I had high enough carpentry skill, I would just right click and plan and it will add the structure uh, like it is doing now. But I don't have enough and these aren't flat anyways. But after you plan the building you have to finalize the building and you just find one of the structure the beams the plan support structure beams you're gonna right click on it and you're gonna finalize the plan and it says I finished planning the house now in the old worm before this pre uh, previous update it actually gave you a writ of purchase but doesn't have that on this one however in order to access or manage your house or your boats or your animals or what have you you're gonna open the character screen you're gonna come down here to body you're gonna right click and click manage and then you can see all the things that you can manage including a building if you click on building it will bring up the building and it tells me uh, moot red shed I can demolish it right now it tells me that it's not on deed I have no locks on the doors and I can actually manage the building uh, it tells me who can enter and who can't enter so if you don't like what you have or you know you want to re redo it, go to buildings and your manage, you're going to click your shed and you're going to demolish and it will just, do you want to demolish? Yep. And it disappears and that's it. So let's go ahead and replan that. We're going to plan our building. We're going to finalize the building by right clicking on the structure, finalize. And then we want to actually build, right? So let's go ahead and open up our crafting window which is one of the greatest inventions um, that worm ever did we're gonna drag our mallet into one side of it and we're going to add another one of the missing wall structures into the other so you can click on it or you can right click add to crafting window or you can just simply add the uh, crafting window shortcut. I don't like that because sometimes I'll click this wall and add it and think I'm making it. So I'm just going to right click on that, add to window, and this tells me all the different structures that I can create. I can create a st wooden, I can create a timber. In order to create stone you have to use a trowel. That's outside of the scope of this tutorial. But let's go ahead. I know that a wooden, let's 
go with wall here. Actually, let's go with wooden, a wooden wall. Okay. I need a mallet. I need a 20 planks and I need a large nail, but I actually want to create a door. Here is where I'm going to have my door. Okay. So in this structure, like we did, we're going to create a wooden double door and I need at least 20 planks. Let's highlight 20 planks. Okay, and I need one nail. And let's have it. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is just gonna plan all of my doors and walls and windows. So I'll plan this one. these crazy sounds and perfect I'll stop that I'm gonna go ahead and drag all of my nails in here for this one I think this is a nice one for a window so let's go ahead and here we can right click on it build as long as you have the nail and the planks in your inventory you can build and you can say that you want a wooden door, a wooden window. And it's going to go ahead and create a window there. perfect and this one we're gonna make a door so I'm gonna find a wooden door this will be in our call this our ingress or our entrance and it will consume one nail one plank when you plan okay and this will just be a plain wall wooden wall it's kinda neat settlement just got planned oh it's actually kinda sad got disbanded okay so we have planned our walls and you can put your mouse over it. you can see this is a wooden wall plan this is a wooden wall plan and if you actually examine it it will tell you see a door under construction this one will say you will see a wall under construction this one will say you see a window under construction uh, and let's go ahead and build that. Now I'm going to switch to a different uh, view as we build this because worm is god awful as you watch the grind. So enjoy. Now that we have created uh, our walls and our door, which in retrospect, I should have made this a double door instead of a single door, but um, can't change it now or I don't want to change it now. And uh, the reason why I make it a double door is because carts and wagons can go through double doors, whereas they cannot single doors. Anyways, let's go ahead and secure our... Uh, shack by putting a door so activate the door lock right click and attach lock take 28 seconds and you'll do it for the other one as well I can go ahead and queue that up and that concludes this episode of creating our shack I'll figure out what we're gonna do in the next episode thanks for watching <laughs>